looking at you all there today, for me, is proof positive that right is might. Thank you for coming here today. I thank the Victoria Police for providing the assurance for your safety and well-being. This, after all, we've all fought for it and our ancestors have fought wars about it. This is the land of free speech. And so even though the people who have a contrary opinion to us today and their numbers have shrunk and withered as their views, their pro-choice views are withering as well, we look forward to the annihilation of those views and the continual transit to common sense and rational thinking. I thank my colleague uh, Bernie Finn for his kind words of introduction. I want to uh, acknowledge uh, the giant killer, Michael Gidley, the uh, member for Mount Waverley, who uh, the instigator of the terrible abortion bill in 2008, Maxine Moran, was defeated by Michael Gidley. Give him another round. I want to echo what uh, Michael had to say about the conversations and the approaches and the meetings we've been having during the life of this parliament. If you see Bernie and I on television, because we sit together in the chamber, if you see us putting our heads together, you can put money on it that we're actually talking about the abortion bill. It is with great sadness and chagrin that we couldn't do more. Politics is a raw game of numbers. We did our best. We brought together, as we did in that terrible chamber, on the night of the 10th of October 2008, we did our very best to bring forward any one of the 17 ameliorating amendments and all of those ameliorating amendments were defeated. They were the ones who we need to actually chip away at this legislation. They were the ones that stopped bringing about pain relief as the baby is torn to pieces, as it is withdrawn from its mother. We did our very best on that night, ladies and gentlemen, and it is, has been for every year for the March of the Babies, great comfort for me to see us assembled like this and standing shoulder to shoulder. The friendships I have made, I congratulate you, I applaud you, I ask you to keep up this brilliant work. There is an election on the 29th of November. The raw facts are this, that only a coalition government will do anything about this bill. A Labor government in this state will do exactly what it did. It lent on its friends in the, in the jurisdiction of the state of Tasmania. The abortion bill in this country has become metastatic, cancerous and spreading. This is the place to draw the line in the sand with the return of a coalition government. I have hope. I there will come a time when you'll come up and you'll say, Jan, you use that word hope. I am telling you now that I have hope that there will be in time changes. Maintain the faith and the hope. We know that change is the law of nature and it will swing back in our favour. I've got two quotes um, to share with you today. 
The first one is written by an author and journalist in Britain. If you can remember the name of Melanie Phillips, she is a brilliant writer and she's written a book called The World Turned Upside Down. Now the cacophony that we hear behind us with the people trying to drown out what you're listening to and what the speakers are trying to say. They're the people who've already fallen into the abyss and they're the people who are adding to the challenges of the very Western civilization that we live in and the freedoms that we take for granted and enjoy. If the momentum of these sorts of people with the voice that we hear today, the voice, satanic voices really, if we allow those voices to keep on resonating and you don't push back and you don't fight back, they will win. We are looking at a clash of civilizations here. Yeah. <laughs> Melanie Phillips said this, the ever incendiary issue of abortion rests on the removal of the moral question about the intrinsic value of an early human being. And the respect that should be afforded it was trumped altogether by the right to happiness of the woman whose body was its custodian. I think they are very powerful words. I hope they resonate for you. The next quote, I think it's a simple one, it could become a mantra. And it was, it's handed down to us through the years by the former President of the United States, Ronald Reagan. I'd like to see this as a sign next year. Uh, and he said, abortion is advocated only by persons who themselves have been born. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, Jan. And uh, on behalf of everybody here and those who can't make it today, thank you for everything that you've done in the Parliament of Victoria over the last eight years. You're a champion. Thank you.